good morning everyone here from Cape Town South Africa once again we're gonna be discovering more beautiful places in this video so in the previous video we explored more this area like the downtown the harbor over there the waterfront and we went to Table Mountain on the cable car which is there and today we're gonna to be doing the lion's head hike which is right up there do you know how long it takes some people say uh, two and a half hours or three hours, but I think that's a round trip. Uh, not one way. No. I hope it's not one way because no. we want to do other things. Yeah, so after that we're going to be driving around the Cape Peninsula, which seems to be probably one of the most beautiful areas of Cape Town. It looks amazing in the photos. And we rented this car here for one day, a Kia, around 35 US dollars giving it back to tomorrow morning. Man, check this out for the perfect bench. This is your view. So this is the Cape Peninsula that we're going to be driving around later on. Of course they have some magnificent beaches too. You can already see there the ultra white sand. The views are so incredible though. If you watched our first video here, you'll know that even there from like the city area, you already get amazing views anyway. But definitely better from up here. It's probably gonna get even better. So the trail has been really amazing. You're basically just like spiraling around. So you get like 360 views as you're going up constantly. So I don't think we've been around this area. What, what did you say it was called? I think C Point and over there Green Point. Green Point over there? Yeah. Looks like they have a golf course probably. A rich area. And I think this final hurdle is the hardest part because you got to do a bit of rock climbing. I don't think that much though. Is this the way, Carol? <laughs> I think so. I see people there, so I think we are on the right path. Yeah, so when I say rock climbing, it's just kind of like this, kind of steps in a way, but yeah, still a bit harder than before. Man, this is just too nice though. So we made it to the top finally. Definitely more sketchy than we were expecting. Especially the last part, it really was like rock climbing. I don't think it's good for people that have fear of heights. No, definitely not. But I really enjoyed it because it's like a leg workout, not just cardio, so it's good. <laughs> but uh, the views are simply amazing. So that's a very good thing about this trail too. Yeah, so it took us about an hour to come up here. And that was without rushing. We stopped a few times. There's like traffic jams on the, the trail from people coming down and up. Definitely worth it though. So I think a lot of people come here for the sunrise and sunset too. I think at sunrise it's less busy, but then sunset is really busy, right? Yeah, and I think people usually come when it's full moon. For some reason, I think you get amazing views. So since you're not allowed to fly a drone here, 
This will be the drone shots. Don't really need a, a drone after coming up here anyway. So we've come to one of those beaches that we could see from the trail. This one is called Clifton Beach. Looked like it had the nicest water from up there. We were up there before. Man, the sand is so white. I didn't even know that South Africa had white sand like this. Surprised. It's a Friday today, so probably not as busy as a weekend. We got a massage. Yeah, so this is one hell of a beach. Water looks absolutely beautiful, like it did from above too. And I think there's four parts of the beach. So we're at, what is it, Clifton 4? Four? 4th, yeah. Clifton 4th, 3rd, 2nd and 1st, I think that's the names. Yeah, they seem to be separated out by these rocks. Also looks cool, the beach, because of the rocks. Kind of different. Yeah, I suppose this is looking a bit more like Rio. <laughs> yeah, but the water here looks nicer. But I think it's very cold because we see people going in and they are like dying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll do the test soon. I don't know if I'm going all the way in though. I'm like recovering from a cold or something these last few days. Carol can go in. Mm, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> so on this peninsula there's many beaches. I don't know if they're all this level though. It'd be amazing if they are. So we're going to check out some more later on. Yeah, that is some insanely cold water. No chance I'm swimming in this. Probably some of the coldest water that I've ever been in, even. And this is summer. <laughs> Winter must be crazy. Crystal clear though. So, so beautiful. Ah, my feet are hurting. There's people swimming though. Not many. People usually go in, scream and then <laughs> run out. You've been in there a long time though. So we're just gonna go on a walk along the beach before we head out of here. We were going to eat here, but we just found out that there are no restaurants. So all the buildings that you're seeing, they just look like apartments. It's like a residential area. And then over here, it just seems to be beach houses. So none of these are hotels or restaurants or anything. You do get beach vendors, but they seem to just be selling drinks. Yes, and ice cream, pretty much. Yeah, not like proper food. But I think the next beach along, I think there are restaurants there. So we're gonna drive to that one. After this walk, wanted to check out the rocky area. Really cool.
So the next beach along is called Camps Bay Beach. Also looks like a pretty popular one. Quite big too. And once again, like ultra white sand. So I guess they might all be like that around here. Not too sure. We're just gonna eat at one of the restaurants here on the ocean front. Wow, look at that backdrop. That's Table Mountain, isn't it? Yeah, and I think those rocks around there are called the 12 uh, Apostles. Apostles, <laughs> yeah. And I, maybe because they are like 12 things, points. points. Yeah, I don't know why. Yeah, it might be. It looks like they might be 12. But that part there, I think, is Table Mountain. So the place that we've chosen is pretty cool. It's called Cafe Caprice. And the prices are pretty good too. I got a chicken schnitzel that I've never eaten before. That was 120. We got a grilled halloumi, 75. And Carol got a veggie burger for 155. We have noticed that when we've gone to touristy places, the food's never super expensive here. No. I think only in the harbor area, like in waterfront places, I was seeing that it was quite expensive. But around here it's not that bad. So this halloumi is so so delicious. I don't remember the last time we've had it. Yeah, it's been a long time, but I always love it. Now on our way to a place called Boulders Beach, still in the Cape Peninsula. And we had to pay a toll road back there, which was 61. Yes. Yeah, if we come back on this same road, we gotta pay it again. We don't know how we're getting back yet, but what an absolutely beautiful drive this is. I'd go as far as saying it's probably one of the most beautiful coastal drives that we've ever seen. So the road, the majority of the time is right next to the ocean. You can see it back there past so many beautiful beaches, the mountainous landscapes too. And this specific part is called Chapman Peaks Drive. It's like a famous part, so yeah, I can see why. So there's many places that you can stop at the side of the road. They also have a lot of picnic tables, like there's one there. So many places that you can have a nice meal if you bring a picnic. So check this out for some views. This is what I was talking about. The road is just going along this coastline the whole time. So a lot of this area is a national park and has no constructions or anything. But over there, there was some sort of town or city, quite a big one. I think that place back there is where you can do that boat tour from. Yeah, Hoot Hout Bay. Hoot Hout Bay, yeah. I don't know how, <laughs> how you pronounce that. But yeah, you can do some boat tours from there. And I think you can visit somewhere with uh, sea lions or seals, I don't know. Well, there are so many things to do here in Cape Town. We wish we had more time. Uh, we're doing as much as we can. But there's many things, many amazing things to do here. Yeah, we've kind of realized already today that you could probably spend a bunch of days just on this peninsula. Not even the whole of Cape Town, just this peninsula. You need multiple days, I think, if you want to visit all the beaches. And like we said, do the different boat tours that are available. A lot to do.
not entirely sure what this guy is. <laughs> Looks cute though. Doesn't seem too bothered by us. What is that? So we've arrived at Boulders Beach and this is famous for having the penguin colony which is the main reason that we wanted to come here but I think there is a beach where you can like sunbathe and stuff so it's 190 per person for foreigners there's some other penguins that we're gonna see and yeah you don't even have to walk that far wow really nice beach beautiful beach the water is still cold I think so nice and calm though for swimming So it turns out that there's two entrances. We were at the entrance for the beach, not the penguins. So we had to walk across about 10 minutes to come to the penguin park. So I already got one penguin right there, just chilling by himself. <laughs> so there's a lot of people here as expected. It's still quite easy to get a, a good spot to see all the penguins. You can see the nesting areas, little holes. This one's funny, it keeps like collecting things and taking it back over there. What's that, his wife? Maybe giving her presents because she deserves it. <laughs> yeah, he seems to be the only one doing that. He'll wander off, get some like sticks and then take it there. But they don't have a nest or anything there. I check they're all down here too. Yeah, it seems like there's thousands of them. Look, he's off again to, to collect something. Diamond ring. Now come to a park that's at the far southern point of the peninsula called Cape Point. It's 400 per person. I think it's that price because you're expected to spend the majority of the day here. I think there's a lot to do, but we only have two hours before it closes. But we've come in here anyway. And the first thing we're gonna do is try and go to that lighthouse there. I think there's like a little tram that takes you up there. So that was unlucky. We got there and all the staff were leaving. So the tram has only just closed right now. We actually saw it go up and go down when we got out of the car. So we needed to get here earlier. But they said you can still walk there. Looks kind of far. I don't know. Looks like it might take about 10 minutes. But that's what we'll have to do. Oh man, this was extra tiring after this morning's hike. But we made it to the lighthouse. <sighs> Historic lighthouse, 1860 to 1919. The white flashing light of 2000 candle power could be seen by ships 67 kilometers out to sea. Yeah, I am officially knackered now. I think we're gonna go down there later on. Whew. I got even more cliffs on this side. Check out the views down there. That's the side we drove down. Amazing. 
and I think somewhere out there is the Antarctica if you just keep going you'll be there eventually Too far from the lighthouse, we've come to the Cape of Good Hope, the most southwestern point of the African continent. There's the coordinates. Not much here, just the ocean. I think we could have walked here. There's a trail there, but we just drove here from the lighthouse. Don't want to do any more walking. It smells weird. Yeah, I think there are some animals there. I'm not sure if they are penguins or something else, I don't know. But there's also the, the big algae thing. Yeah, something stinky, that's for sure. So we're back at our apartment now. It ended up being a really action-packed day. Would have probably been best to split up what we did into two days if we had more time. On the way back, we went to a place called Scarborough to watch the sunset. Really relaxed beach, really nice there. A guy actually recommended it to us that I was speaking to at the penguin place. He said to go there for the sunset, so yeah, that was a good recommendation. And we definitely needed more time here in uh, Cape Town and South Africa. It was just a quick trip for us, just a week. But can already see why this place is amazing since you have all the amazing wildlife, you have the ocean, you have the mountains. Like even just now you saw that we saw the ostriches. It's not every day that we're in a country where you just keep getting all this wildlife appearing all the time. And before when we were in Namibia, we had told some people that we were coming to South Africa and a lot of them were saying to watch out that it's dangerous but yeah luckily we had no issues at all we felt pretty safe overall yeah uh, I mean we did some things like we're doing Rio de Janeiro when we are there uh, I was not wearing jewelry and I was not wearing my uh, watch a smart watch and also I think when we used to go especially around the area that we're staying that is not extremely safe from what we heard uh, I would just put like my phone like inside my my shorts things like that the same things that I do in Rio de Janeiro when I'm there so maybe we don't think it's that uh, dangerous or anything because we are from Rio I mean I am from Rio and maybe I'm just used to this kind of place also there are cases of carjacking so when we were renting the car we didn't put uh, our valuables we didn't leave our valuables inside the car because of that yeah like Carol said I think just because we've lived in Brazil we like automatically 
know what to do and how to act and we never have any issues over there really so yeah we just did the same thing so we're still going to be in africa in the next video we're going to be flying to mozambique tomorrow which is a country that i've barely seen really it doesn't really seem like any other youtubers have been there and they speak portuguese there that's one of the reasons that we're deciding to go because we speak portuguese and it looks amazing it looks like some cool stuff to do there so really looking forward to that if you like this video just drop a like as usual to support us subscribe to see more videos like this follow us on instagram and facebook and we'll see you in the next one